Linda. And I'm Vicki. And we are Partners, Partners in Crime. Crime. Today we are going to, we have a little special wine here. It's called Actum Sinister, and this is actually how I purchased <laughs> it, which I thought was so cool. And you open it up, and that's the wine. I did put a little bit of a nice little fabric in here, but it is, it says it is a dark red wine. So cute. So what we got there and yeah this is just so cool how it came in <laughs> so that's why I got it it's not for the bottle it's for the case Very um, so we're gonna try this and let's see oh I like that a lot it's very good it's dry yeah it's dry but it's it's a lot like a Cabernet Sauvignon to me. Like, I really like this mm -hmm. a lot. And you like our glasses. We're I kind love of, these. Aren't yeah, they cute? Getting ready for Halloween. So I put some Halloween decorations around. And we have our crystal ball. And we're, yes, so, we could really use a crystal ball. Yeah. It would, <laughs> yeah, it would be nice to kind of ask this what, you know, we need to know. Right. So, right. But... All right, so now we are going to dive into Dulce Maria Maria Al Alaves from Bridgeton, New Jersey. And what did you find out on Dulce? Well, I know that in, at the time this occurred, she was five years old. Mm -hmm. She's six years old now because it's a year. It's been a year, yes. And she vanished near a playground in Bridgeton, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. This particular playground is part of a huge park. Mm -hmm. The park is 1,100 acres. Okay. And it has a pool, it has tennis courts, it has... Basketball courts. It even has a little zoo as part of it. Okay. So, but this particular section that they were in mm -hmm. is not near that. Okay. Um, it's near a high school. Mm -hmm. It's actually across from a high school near basketball courts. Mm -hmm. So it's believed that this little girl was abducted um, and it was on September 16th and she was with her mother Naomi. Uh, Naoma or yeah. Noema, I no. apologize, Noema and her little brother Manny. Right. And, and Noema's sister, little sister. Right, yeah. right. And who was only I think eight years old. Yeah. So, um, Noema, <laughs> Noema, no, no, I want to mm -hmm. say Naomi, yeah. um, stayed in the car and she let Dulce and the little guy out to run to the play area. Yes. She stayed in the car with her sister mm -hmm. to, they were, they were like scratching off lottery tickets and she was going to help her sister with homework. Okay. And then she realized she couldn't see them mm -hmm. from where they were parked, which was about 30 yards away. Okay. And um, when she got out, she walked over and saw that the little brother, Manny? Manny, yes. Was crying. His ice cream was on the ground. Mm -hmm. And he was crying. And she said, where's your sister? Mm -hmm. And he pointed to some buildings that were over on the side. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how far it was, but... We'll get into that because we're going to go visit that area. Yeah, they were maintenance buildings right, over there. Right, yeah. And um, she was gone. She was gone. Mother looked around and she, you know, was getting upset. And she looked around and went here, there, and couldn't find her. Mm -hmm. um, at that point, she called first her brother. Okay. And then she called the police. Okay. So... You know, when the police came, they did a lot of uh, questioning her. And she told them what she knew. And there were a group of kids playing basketball mm -hmm. that was in sight of where they were. Yeah. However, when they were questioned, they said 
They didn't see anything. Mm -hmm. But the mother could understand why the little girl would run away because right. she was on the shy side. She said she never went with strangers. That was just not her way. She just wouldn't do that. Initially, I thought she said that she thought she was playing hide and seek. Yeah, she did. She thought so. she was playing hide and seek, but, you mm -hmm. know, that turned out not to be the case. Right. Because Unfortunately, it would have yeah. been yeah. a lot better if it was. So, they didn't issue an Amber Alert until 30 hours after this occurred. Mm -hmm. And I think they were just trying to be thorough in an investigation and see what they could find out before issuing that Amber Alert. I also heard, too, you need a vehicle. You need to have a vehicle. They didn't have a specific oh. vehicle to issue the Amber Alert until after they did talk to people, like you said, to do a more, more thorough investigation. Hmm. They needed that. So you need a vehicle to do an Amber Alert. Alert. I did learn that. That's interesting. Yeah. But so what if somebody walked away with her and they didn't have a vehicle? They wouldn't have an Amber Alert, I guess, unless they had a specific person. Maybe... They need a specific vehicle, but they also might need a specific person. And a lot of times, most of the time, they say 99% of the time, this is someone that the child knows. Okay. So they would have someone okay. that they could right. Right. put in that Amber Alert. And unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. there, there was nobody that they could think of or knew that would do that. Right. They even investigated the, the father mm -hmm. who's in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So pretty much ruled him out yeah. at that point. Um, they're really counting on the people in the community to give whatever tips they can. Um, they People in that community are mostly Hispanic and mm -hmm. they're afraid. Yes. They're afraid to come forward because of immigration repercussions. Um, I'm just going to cover that. We're outside, so I'm covering the uh, wine for yeah, a little bugs, bugs in our wine. Sorry about that. Um, but also, they did find out that, and I don't know who told them this, mm -hmm. that there was a red van in the area. Mm -hmm. And when uh, Naomi was on the phone <laughs> that's okay, with the police, she was telling them that someone had said there was a, a black man and a Hispanic man in the area. Mm -hmm. But when the dispatcher was conveying this information to the police, she said there were two black men. So there's some inconsistencies in the, in the story. Mm -hmm. um, and then someone said that one of those men had pushed the ice cream out of the hand of that little guy. Right. So many different, so, yeah, you, you know, just don't know. For people who didn't see anything, how did they know this? You know, right. So they do have a wonder. composite sketch of one specific person. They, it is a younger yeah. uh, Latino male, mm -hmm. uh, thin on the thin side. So um, we will put that picture on the screen as well so you can see what this right. and where person they got looks that like. Information from I don't know. I mean, the, the little boy was only three years old. I know. I think there were people around that would have given them 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 that information. I think even one of the basketball players might have. Okay. Um, from what I heard, so. And there were discrepancies about the basketball players mm -hmm. because Dolce had said there was only, you know, a few, maybe four mm -hmm. people playing basketball, and then others had said there was. Quite a few, like maybe 20 kids yeah. playing basketball. And they were younger girls, too, like in, in 10 to 12 areas. So mm -hmm. they would they would be able to give descriptions a lot better than a 3-year-old. But they're still younger. So right. you don't right. know. Um, someone might have seen something different. They do say, though, when... Because this is still in our area, so we do see updates in our local news from time to time. And because this was the one-year anniversary, the police officers and detectives are also saying that this composite, the person that they're um, looking at, he might not have had anything to do with it. That person was in the area. This is how they got his, his description. That's how they were able to do the composite. He could have been there for a legitimate reason. So they just need this person, if they didn't have anything to do with it, to come forward and say, look, I was there because of this. 
they can check that out. And if, if everything's fine, then that person won't be a person of interest. Right, right. So, so. and you know, they really are counting on tips mm -hmm. from the neighborhood. Right. And, you know, if anybody knows anything, just call them. You can do it anonymously. Call mm -hmm. the Bridgeton City Police Department and give them whatever information you have. Nothing will happen to you. Right. Do it anonymously. Yeah, and we will put that number on the screen as well. Um, Dulce actually has a little sister now, too. Oh, yes. um, her mom did give birth to a little girl. Uh, I think it might have been seven months or seven months after she went missing. Well, she so was pregnant at the time. Yeah. So she does have a little sister. Because um, there were some comments about how um, she, the mother was eating a, p a slice of pizza mm -hmm. when this was going on. And there mm -hmm. were comments about, how could she eat? Right. But if she's pregnant, if she's she pregnant, has to you know, eat. You know, you get hungry. I mean, right. you have to eat or you can get sick or mm -hmm. lightheaded or whatever. Yeah. So... Yeah. You know, people rush to judgment. Yeah. Um, and I know a lot of a lot of people in the beginning were looking at uh, Noema as a suspect. And from looking at the videos of the detectives working on this, they say that her, the suspicion of her is without merit. So there was no reason why they believed that she had anything to do yeah. with her daughter's disappearance. So right, right. we wanted to put that out there as well, just so people know that... Yes, this was what people were speculating in the beginning, but the detectives, she's just been cooperating the whole time. Right, so. and she has this flat, I guess, affect. Mm -hmm. She doesn't show a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. She did when she was on the phone with the police because... You could hear it in her voice. You hear that, right. The 911. But yeah. after that, you know, maybe it was shock or mm -hmm. just the way that she handles things. Right. But she was on Dr. Phil. I don't know if mm -hmm. you saw that. Yeah. But she was the same way with him. Yeah. And uh, he really, he grilled her. Right. You know, he really did. And yeah. It's just so unfortunate. So. And they did say that the perpetrator, it, they, they think that it could have been just an opportunity for this person. They saw the opportunity and they took it. Doesn't necessarily mean that she was targeted. The opportunity arose to take Dulce. So this person did that. They say that the perpetrator could have lived in the area, could have been very familiar with the area, mm -hmm. or had reason to be in the area. So it could be someone that lives there, someone that was there for, or worked around there and was there a lot, um, or someone that was there in between places. Right. Now, having said that they didn't do the Amber Alert until 30 hours after this event, doesn't mean that they didn't search. Mm -hmm. They did extensive searching. They even had divers. They had um, interviewed all the sex offenders that they knew of in the area. Right. And, you know, they were peppering the area with flyers and mm -hmm. uh, leaflets to, you know, inform the public what was going on. So they did, of that extensive, vast park, mm -hmm. they did an extensive search for yeah. her. So... So we're still praying that Dulce does come home safely and, you know, you just hate to think of what this little girl could be going through, uh, so we're just hoping, yeah. But we will get out there. We're, we'd like to see the area ourselves and we'll have an opportunity to show you the, the logistics of mm -hmm. where the car was, where the little girl was playing. Right. And, the basketball players were, mm -hmm. so it'll give you a better idea of what's going on. Yes, definitely. Or what occurred. Mm -hmm. And there are still memorial, there are signs there and that sort of thing, too. Right. So we want to be able to show you that. Right. People are still looking. It's still a very active investigation at this point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, until next time. Are you ready? We are ready, and if okay. you haven't yet subscribed, please do hit yes. that subscribe button, uh, hit up, give us a thumbs up, mm -hmm. and also hit the little bell, right. and, and you then you'll be aware of when our notified. videos yep. are, are coming out. And again, we love our comments, so please leave the comments, and let us know how you found us, too.
Yeah. So that's another thing we like to right. like to see. So right. exactly. All right. All right. Until next time. Bye. Bye.